I start off every morning with a cup of coffee with some frothed milk, some Cool Whip, and chocolate sauce on top to make it a little bit more special. And then a couple hours later, I have some oatmeal with bananas. I just cook my oatmeal in milk, put half a banana on top and a little bit of brown sugar. And at this point, I'd already drink in one of my Yetis. Moving on into lunch, I'm going to have a bean quesadilla instead of a bean burrito with some fat-free refried beans, a flour tortilla, some Colby Jack cheese, and a little bit of sriracha. I just toast the tortilla until it is done on both sides and then it is done from there. I'm also gonna have some yogurt with some chia seeds and some coconut flakes. These Dan and Lighten Fits have been really good. They're low in calories and they also have a lot of protein. I also had my lunch with some apples and I filled up my Yeti cup once again, making that my second, no, my third cup for the day. A little bit later on, I got a little bit more hungry, so I had some salsa and chips, and then a couple hours later, my stomach didn't feel so well, so I had some saltines and peanut butter, and I filled up my Yeti again. So right here, we're moving on into dinner. I'm gonna be making stuffed bell peppers, and one of the things inside of the bell peppers is going to be quinoa, so I'm starting the water with, or I'm start pouring in the pot some water and a chicken bouillon cube so it can make like a chicken stock for my quinoa. And I have a big pot of water boiling for my bell peppers. Now I might be doing this completely wrong, but this is how I do our stuffed bell peppers. I cut them out. These have already been cut, so I just was kind of cutting around it, trying to get all the white and the insides out and all the seeds and I put them in a container on the side and I'll actually boil them. You'll see me boil them in a couple uh, minutes or in a little bit um, and I'll boil them for about four minutes or so until they're a little bit more tender. I find doing this makes it a little bit easier when we eat them. Um, they're not as crunchy, which I don't really like it crunchy. I like it a little bit more soft and boiling them makes it a lot more soft. Right here, I'm adding the quinoa to the chicken broth now that the chicken bouillon cube has dissolved and I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it cook for, I believe, 15 minutes. I'm placing the bell pepper in the boiling water and like I said, I'm only gonna do this for about four minutes. I probably could have done it for three minutes, but four was, it worked pretty well for us. I'm also gonna cut up a little bit of onion for the inside of the bell peppers. I didn't want a whole lot of onion, just a little bit, and I wanted it super minced. You can see there I had to put my towel down because the cooking, the cutting board was moving around. So I just minced up the onion a little bit and threw it in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and seasonings and let that cook up for a little bit. spraying my pan down just in case any of the insides from the bell peppers get on the pot the dish I didn't want it to burn so I placed the bell peppers on the pot while they're really hot be careful they're super hot I probably could have let them sit in the water but I didn't want them to cook anymore so I took them out placed them in there so they could cool while everything else was getting cooked
turning on the oven to 400 degrees so I can get it ready for the bell peppers when they are finally done. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of ground turkey. I could have added this whole container, but I only wanted to add a little bit because I was going to put some black beans in here as well. So I'm just gonna season that turkey up with a little bit of garlic powder and oregano because when I add the beans later, you'll see I'll add more seasoning because the beans didn't have as much flavor. I find that when we are trying to cut back on meat, it really helps to use less and then to supplement with a bean of some sort because you still get that protein, but then you're using less meat. I'm also adding seasoning to my quinoa. I don't know about you guys, but when I cook quinoa, or maybe it's the quinoa I get, it tastes very earthy, so I feel like I have to season it very well. The chicken broth definitely helped this time whenever I cooked it. It was not nearly as earthy, and I feel like it gave it a great flavor. So right here, I'm just mixing up the quinoa with the turkey and black bean mixture, and I will be putting it inside of the bell peppers to bake in the oven. The last step is to add some cheese on top. You can add whatever type of cheese you would like. We love pepper jack cheese on our stuffed peppers. So we placed one slice of pepper jack cheese. We've also done Colby Jack or whatever kind of cheese you want or you don't even need cheese, but it just gives it a little bit of an extra flavor. This is what it looked like at the end and we absolutely loved it. If you haven't tried stuffed bell peppers and they look very intimidating, try it. It's super simple and very delicious.